are participants. Um, so uh, individuals participating in the training opportunity, Again, we're just kind of repeating the things that were mentioned in some of those other slides, because again, this shouldn't be rocket science. None of this stuff should really, really alarm you in terms of what is or what isn't. Uh, again, not employees. So again, employees are not allowed to be participants. That is explicitly stated throughout uniform guidance, as well as in any solicitation that you're gonna read. Uh, so students participating in an NSF research experience for undergraduates, uh, NSF is one of your uh, prominent sponsors that deals with participant calls. So that's the sponsor that we use in a number of our examples to give you some real life uh, scenarios. And then again, uh, teaching participants. That's another uh, type of participant that, that will be considered uh, a participant. Uh, so now we go to the next slide. Uh, what are allowable participant calls? Uh, again, a cost associated with the individual participant, uh, funds that are being provided to defray participant calls. Again, normally these are students, they don't have a lot of funds. So uh, the purpose and point of this is to allocate a specific cost to support them in whatever the endeavor is. Um, and then again, seeing the solicitation, which Sonia is gonna walk us through so that you guys were so confident going through that framework of identifying what exactly are the costs that we're referring to when we define participants. And then last but certainly not least, um, what are allowable examples of participant support costs? And again, stipends, uh, subsidies, travel costs, as outlined in the program solicitation. Hopefully you guys are starting to see some redundancy and regurgitation of the same thing. And that's intentional, right? We want you guys to know that the framework should be consistent when identifying these things. Um, and then other costs supported for, for uh, participant support costs. Um, one that comes to mind for me is probably books, right? If there's registration or something like that, that could be that other cost type. But again, it would normally be outlined somewhere for you to be able to reference.